In this video, we are going to understand how to create contact in Wix from new row in Google Sheets. So here my objective is that every time new information is added as a new row in my split sheet here, I have taken the example of Google Sheet, then automatically a contact should be created in Wix, which is a leading website building platform. Now how can we do this? For this, we will be integrating these two applications and the same thing can be done using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger application will be Google Sheets and my action application will be Wix. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here we have reached the landing page. Now since I'm an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in and if you are a new user, you can quickly sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. Now as we do that, here we have reached our labs page and now I'm going to click on access now for Pabli Connect as we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. Now as we do that, here we have reached a dashboard. On the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here my objective is every time new information is added in my Google Sheets, then automatically a contact should be created in Wix, which is a website building platform. Now I'm going to click on create. As I do that, here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. Now as per this integration, my trigger application here will be Google Sheets. Let's click on this and the trigger event. Now this is the event that is going to make this workflow run and here it will be new or updated spreadsheet row. Now you can see that we have received a webhook URL. This is going to act as a bridge for connecting Google Sheets and Pabli Connect. So I'm going to copy this. Now please read this help text carefully and we have to follow this. So let me show you exactly what we have to do. So I'm going to take you to the spreadsheet that I have created. The name is employee details. The name of this particular sheet is sheet one. And here we have the following column fields, first name, last name, email address, and phone number. Now we have to integrate this Google sheet with Pabli Connect to do so. Let's go to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons. Now as we do that, here we have reached Google Workspace Marketplace. So here I'm going to look for Pabli Connect webhooks. Let's click on this. Now you can see that this particular application has already been installed on my system. So please make sure that once you install this, you have to close this page and refresh this page. Please do not forget this. And once you have refreshed, we are going to wait for a few seconds. And then we are going to go back to extensions where you would be able to see Pabli Connect webhooks. Now let's go to initial setup. As we do that here, you can see that the system has already selected the sheet. And now here I'm going to paste this webhook URL that we had copied. Let's paste. Next is the trigger column. Now the trigger column is the final data column where the data is added. And as per the sheet, the final data column is D. So I'm going to mention D here. Let's click on submit. And as we do that, we can see that the configuration is all set. Let's click on send test. And here the test data has been sent successfully. Let's close this window. Now here we can see we have received the response. So this here is a trigger column, the name of the spreadsheet. This is the sheet ID, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID. Then we have the row index. Here we have the phone number, last name, first name and the email address. So here we have received the data which was there in the second row. So that's why the row index is mentioned as two. Now, if we want that every time there's a new event added to the Google Sheet, then automatically the response should be received by Pabli Connect. To make sure that happens, we have to go back to extensions, Pabli Connect webhooks, and here you can see send on event. So please click on this so that you get this check mark right in front. Okay, once this is done, now what is my objective? Here I want to create contact in Wix. So with this information, I have to create a contact in Wix. So I'm going to click on this. And the action event here would be to create contact. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Wix account. For this, I'm going to select add new connection and then connect with Wix. 
I already have logged into my Wix account. Now here to set up this connection, it is asking me for the app ID and the secret ID. How can we receive this? So the step by step guide is given here in this particular link. Let's click on this. And now here we can see it is written login to Wix Developer Center at this. So I'm going to click on this hyperlink once again. Let's click on start now. Then as per the instructions, first of all, we have to click on create new app. So once done here, we have to name our app. So I'm just going to give it smart app. So this is the name of my application. Now here we have to go to auth. So as we reach here, we can see that this here is the app ID and the app secret key. So I'm going to copy this, go back to public connect, paste this over here. And then again, we have the secret key. So I'm going to copy this quickly and paste this over here. Now, once this is done here, it is written that we have to paste this redirect URL. So I am going to copy this and now here I'm going to paste the same. And then here we have to provide the app URL. So I'm just going to write www.pabli.com. And now we are going to click on save. So we can see that the changes were saved. Now let's go to permissions. And here we are going to click on add permission since we are creating a contact. So here we are going to select contacts and members and here we are going to select manage members and contacts all permissions. Let's again click on save. Now once this is done, we are going to go back to public connect and now click on save. So as I do that here, it is asking us to allow manage members and contacts read basic site and business information. And we have seen that the authorization has been successful. So once that is done, now here we have to map the information. What is mapping? Mapping means that I already have this information in the previous step and I'm just going to retrieve it here. So I'm going to click on this and you can see the previous step and we need the first name. So here is the first name. Then we need the last name. So again, this here is the last name. So this method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping. And this is important so that every time the workflow runs, it can take the new data into consideration. Now next is line item email tag. So I'm going to make it work. Then we have the email address. So let's again go to the previous step. And this here is the email address. Then we have the phone tag country code. So here I'm just going to write IN for India. Then we have the phone number. So this here is the phone number. Now here when you have the address, you can always enter the information. And now I'm going to go down and just click on save and send test request. And as we do that here, we have received the response. Now let's go to Wix and check if a contact has been created there. Let's go to contacts. And yes, here you can see with the name demo dummy, a contact has been created here, which means that our integration is a success. But we also need to check the same in real time. So I'm going to take you back to Google Sheets and here I'm going to add another information. So let's say the name here is smart. Then we have the last name, which is user one. Then we have the email address smart at pablitudes.com. And then we have the phone number, a random number, the moment I click on enter, what should happen? Automatically, this contact should be created in Wix. Let's go to Wix once again, refresh the contacts page. And here you can see that our new contact has been created. So this means our integration is a success, taking you back to Pabli Connect. Let's quickly understand what we have to do. So here our trigger application is Google Sheets. The event is new or updated spreadsheet row. And our action application is Wix where the event is to create contact. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. 
I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.